The aging orc shaman, Ner'zhul, has seized control of the Horde and reopened the Dark Portal. His brutal warriors once again encroach upon Azeroth, laying siege to the newly constructed stronghold of Nethergard Keep. Hello and welcome to Liam's Lyceum, I'm your host Liam, aka Hembar, and today I'll be doing a spoiler-free review of Aaron Rosenberg's and Christy Golden's Beyond the Dark Portal. Beyond the Dark Portal is a 2008 World of Warcraft novel by Aaron Rosenberg and Christy Golden. It is the third Warcraft-related novel I've read after Lord of the Clans and Rise of the Horde, uh, which were both by Christy Golden. This is my fourth novel I've read by Golden. Um, and there is a novel, I believe, set between this one and Rise of the Horde uh, called Tides of Darkness, but it's only by Rosenberg, and I'm not sure if I care to read it. I've also previously read one book by uh, um, Rosenberg as part of the Eldros Legacy series. Um, this uh, starts with Grotar and Brodog uh, dicing away some time before the Dark Portal. Uh, this leads to Azeroth, of course, and war with humans. Uh, the world of Draenor is now practically dead. Uh, Ner'zhul is present. In fact, he is leading the Horde. The Alliance drives has driven back the Horde and originally destroyed the portal, uh, and this had ended the Second War. Uh, that is the prologue, essentially. The first chapter starts two years later as Ner'zhul reopens the portal to wage war once more. Uh, we get some time with the Alliance members, which uh, didn't really happen in the other two Warcraft novels I read. Uh, Illyria Windrunner, uh, again Greymane, Thoras Trollbane, Dalen Proudmore. Um, it's Illyria and Turalyon, I think, uh, that really pull the weight of the Alliance side of the story. Um, on the Horde side, we have Grom Helmscream, uh, Razor Fist, uh, Death Knights, and Dragons like Deathwing. Uh, it's Deathwing and Terran Gorfiend that pull the way to the Horde here, uh, in my opinion. Uh, the previous books really only focus on orcs and some humans or Burning Legion, but this one has much more. Uh, there are dwarves, gnomes, goblins, elves, ogres, etc. Uh, the altruistic idea of stopping orcs who only want to go to other worlds and just need artifacts from Azeroth to get there, uh, and then they will leave Azeroth alone, is something very heroic that I think would be even less likely to be written today. Um, to a degree. Um, but overall, uh, this is not as memorable, I feel like. Um, it didn't have the emotional impact of either Lord of the Clans or Rise of the Horde. Uh, I'm kind of curious to see what the writing process of this one was actually like, since I know it depends on the co-authors, uh, right? Sometimes it's uh, essentially one person writes the book, they have a problem with it, and so another author comes in to help, and since the work they do is well, pretty major, they get their name on the title as, uh, title, you know, in the book as well. Uh, sometimes it's co-written, as in, like, one person writes the first draft, then another person writes the second draft, or one person writes certain chapters, and another person writes other chapters. Um, I'm not really sure what it was here, um, because this one just wasn't as good, I feel like. Uh, it wouldn't surprise me if it's the first, if Rosenberg wrote most of this, um, and then Golden helped him out, uh, because compared to the other Golden novels I've read, this is this is the worst by far. Uh, and compared to the one other Rosenberg novel I've read, this is about the same. Uh, which isn't to say it's bad. Uh, it's just kind of saying that it's not that impressive. And again, like I said, I'm not sure I'm going to read Tides of Darkness just because it's only by Rosenberg. I'm not a huge fan of World of Warcraft or Warcraft. I'm mostly reading days with my brother. So overall, it is interesting. I liked having the Alliance stuff. It's something that I kind of missed in the other novels, but the orcs and the characters and the characterization, at least, um, and the atmosphere was so well done. I didn't feel like I was missing out too much. Um, anyways, Liam from Liam's Lyceum. I'll catch you next time.